Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss a quick tutorial on grade point average or GPA and basically go over the definition and also some examples to illustrate it. But before I get to that, I just want to point out uh, we have a calculator on this on our site, uh, finalexamcalculator.com slash GPA. So make sure to check that out for this pretty amazing calculator we have up there now. And basically, um, uh, this is basically GPA is defined as, or grade point average is defined as, the total grade points earned divided by the total credits taken. And I'll explain this through some examples uh, pretty soon. Uh, basically, this is just a simply a weighted average of basically uh, the grade points, which are basically the value given to one credit at a specific percentage range or letter grade right here. And I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, and, and in this scale right here, which I'll show. And basically, the main purpose is to change the worth of a letter grade or percent for any specific purpose. And this, uh, basically, this common GPA scale right here, this is from this calculator on this website, um, on our website, so make sure to check that out. And uh, this is the one that it uses. Basically, what it's saying is, let's say if you got nine, between 90 and 100, we're going to say, we're going to ignore, let's say if you got 93 or 98 or 100, and just say that is worth 4.33, and that's an A+. Plus. If you got between 85 to 89, we're going to give that a worth of 4. So what we're doing is changing how much this is worth instead of basically the basic linear 0 to 100% scale. So we're changing that to, to something like this. So all of these ones, these are values for all these ranges. And basically uh, saying, uh, like, like most of the scales, is if you get below 50%, we're not even, we're just going to say that is worth nothing or zero. So instead of, so if you got 1%, 0, 48, 49, we're giving you a zero, saying that's not worth it to even count as a, as, as a grade, and we'll, we'll give you an F. So that's kind of the idea of it, is to change the worth of the zero to 100% scale and say uh, certain ones are basically all worth the same, 90 to 100, same thing. You did really well. We don't need to distinguish between 95 and 100 and 0 to 49. That's just a fail. Uh, and basically, the example I'm going to go over is this one right here. If you're given, let's say, a report card, it looks something like this. Let's say you had math, chemistry, physics, and English. And you got 95, 80, 72, and 48 in these courses, respectively. And basically, let's say each one's worth, uh, the credits are 3, 5, 6, and 3. So they're, this just means how much is this course worth overall. So saying physics worth the most, chemistry second, and in this case, math, English, the same thing. And basically, the question says for part A, find the GPA using the above scale, which is this one here. Then part B, which is it says use uh, basically find the GPA using the custom scale below, which one I, I just made up right now. Basically, it's a... Uh, a B F scale and I'm just saying if you get uh, between 75 and 100 that is worth 100 I'm not even distinguishing anything between but if you got between 50 and, and 74 that is just a B and that's worth 50 uh, grade points and basically but if you got anything below once again I'm just gonna give that a zero and that's an F right here yeah, so here I'll do part A first and I've copied and pasted the courses but I added two columns here for GPA remember this GPA is actually specific to the course only and the overall GPA is what we will be finding. And basically in the GPE, which is this grade point earned right here. So that's just earned. And so this GPA average, this is basically the average of the credits for this specific course at this specific range. And in this case, we got 95. So if we look at this scale, what is that worth? Well, that's a worth of 4.33. Because it's between 90 and 100, that's an A+. Plus. So we'll just write 4.33. But for chemistry, we got basically 80, and that is worth 3.67. Let's write that down. And then the last, uh, well, physics is just uh, that's 72, so that's a 2.67. That's right here. So we got 2.67 here. And then basically uh, the last one, English, we got 48. That's below 50, and that's a zero right here. So we got a zero grade point average for that. And the GPE earned, or the grade points earned, that's just basically, remember, this is per credit basis, and this is the average of the credits. So to get the total grade points earned, we'll have to multiply by the number of credits, 4.33, times this by 3. This would equal to 12.99. And then do the same thing for the next three stuff right here. This is 3.67 times 5. Yeah, you'll get basically 18.35. And likewise, for physics, you get 16.02. And then you get 0 for English right here. 
So now the total of this is just basically sum this all up. We will get, yeah, we will get basically 47.36 uh, total. This is the, basically the total grade point earned right here. And then when we look back, the definition of GPA is basically the total earned, which is this one, but divided by the total credits taken. Because this is basically, yeah, to, to get it as an average. This is per, uh, this is a total, uh, this is the number of grade point earned times by the total credits. So to get the average, we'll have to obviously divide by the total credit. So GPA, we'll call this, yeah, I'll call this uh, overall GPA. That's just going to be 47.36 divided by the total credits here. This is 3 plus 5, that's 8, plus 6 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So that's the total of this. So we divide it by 17, and we will get a grade point average of, of 2.78 right here. So this is our grade point average out of a total of, at the, out of the max of 4.33. So we got this 2.78. Yeah, so now let's look at part B right here. So now when we look at part B, we have the same course I copied and pasted, the same two rows, GPA and GPA, GPE. And basically, the, now we have this different scale so 75 and 100, 200 is 100. So in this case, we got 95. That equals just to 100. So we're just saying it's 180. That's 100. 72. That's below 75. We'll call that. This is just going to be a 50. And this one below 50. That we're just giving that a zero. So GPE earned. This is just be 100 times three. That is just 300. 100 times five. That is 500. And now the six times 50, that is just 300 right here. 300 because there's six courses. And this obviously, there's a zero right here. So the total here is going to be equal to, yeah, this total is basically 300 plus 300 is 600 plus 500. That is 1,100. So that's a the total earned. So our GPA or overall GPA, I'll just write overall right here in brackets, is equal to 1,100 divided by the total credits, which is 17. And this equals two. Yeah, this equals to 64.7 uh, or zero uh, around there, GPA right here. So this GPA is 64.70. And this is just saying out of scale, basically from zero to 100 GPA, we're given this as 64.7. So it's a bit above, well, zero, uh, and a bit above the halfway mark. So it's kind of a, a scale to get a, a feel for how this person did. Because of that, this this fail right here, we're given it basically it drops down really low, but it's still pretty high uh, compared because of his hundreds right here. Well, anyways, uh, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this uh, this grade point average tutorial. And uh, once again, make sure to, uh, to basically go on this calculator to check your GPA using this scale. And I'll put the link all of that in the description below. And you can also download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.